So today we are here at Longwood Gardens. This is a gorgeous botanical garden in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Being originally from this area, I've been here a couple different times. I don't think I've ever been, or at least not to my memory, been during the fall months though. Uh, my last visit here, I actually have a vlog from a couple years ago. We came up in the summer, um, so I got to see all those things, but I have not been in the fall, so I'm excited to see all of that. They're putting lights on the trees. They're getting ready for Christmas, which is exciting. That we've been to more recently. When was that? We came a couple years ago. Actually, that's for, for the Christmas event. We were here. Maybe it was 2019, I think, we came to the Christmas lights event. But yeah, I have not been specifically for a fall visit. Girls Day. Yeah, these are definitely like the English gardens. These are beautiful. Yeah, I didn't know if these things would like still be in bloom now that we're going into, we're here in October, like middle of October. Yeah, these are all still blooming. things here feel very like fairy tale esque yeah this is a popular spot to come to do engagement photos any type of family photos and we actually just met a couple at the restaurant we just ate at that actually had their wedding here um like literally today <laughs> they like eloped here it's a very popular spot to do that and you can just keep roaming and finding different paths and it's beautiful i get the Italian water gardens. That's where we're heading now. That's one of my favorites. Everything has a lot of European influence around here There's so many paths and look you can even just take these off the beaten path paths This does feel like I'm filming a movie or something like a very cinematic. Oh, yeah, Look at this up here. This is the spot you come to get married. I bet they got married right here. Mm-hmm. And you would under be, this, yeah, this that would, would work. be a bad spot. This is beautiful. Look right by this water. This is where you come and get married. This is beautiful. They also have up there is one of them. There's multiple tree houses that it's just like giant size tree houses. It's every little kid's dream. They're very cute to explore. This is the yeah, Italian the garden. Is, yeah. No in oh no. Yeah. So during the summer, typically they always have this working and this is beautiful. I'll have to link the summer vlog I have from here, but this is the Italian water garden. So just picture gorgeous jumping fountains pretty impossible to do everything in one day if you wanted to find every little path that is around here like there's the path additionally that goes down around the water fountains that way and out into a different pasture and then if you go this way you go kind of back into the woods and see more paths that direction so really you could come back multiple trips like every time I come here I discover something different I've been coming for years and I always feel like I just happen upon something new <laughs> oh yeah look all of this has pennies down here people throw in the the fountain let's gather let's gather the pennies <laughs> We gone up this one here, we gone around that way. What do we want to do today? You like that, but that I know, it's all the way It just depends if you want to walk all the way. Just 
Look at the size of this tree. That's insane. Can't even fit it all in frame. I know a lot of people, we didn't live like to get here. It would take us maybe like 40 minutes or so um, from where I grew up. But I know a lot of people that, a lot of people if they lived even closer would have like the season pass and just come and just do your daily walk around here. It's like the best place to do that. It's very peaceful. If you just need to clear your head, you come to a place like this to just walk around. There's also all of those meadows out there. For as far as the eye can see, they have like mowed paths. You can actually explore all of that as well. I've never done that before. I've never gone all the way out there. But it's an option for you. If you want to look at this QR code, they have the gardens maps. And you get just the idea of how massive this place is. We're up here at, this is the Pierce DuPont house, and I remember there's a cat that lives here. There might be a few cats that live here, and I want to see them. Of course, that's like the main thing I want to do, is see the cat. Oh look, there's a bird's nest up there. You see it? Up on top of that shutter. Let's go in the house. The yes, we need to look for the kitty. Oh, like bonsai trees. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that a type of bonsai that has the... I've never seen those before. With the flowers. Oh yeah, here's the sign. Yeah, I want one of these. There's chrysanthemums. Bonsai, Bonsai. chrysanthemums. Yeah, that's beautiful. so cool. I think I remember the kitty being in here one time. On the steps to go upstairs. They said he liked to come lay here. I don't see him. We just learned that you can actually, these are real, just they're chrysanthemums and you just trim them and train them to become a bonsai. That's amazing. This is all brand new. They have a little train garden. Oh, it's Thomas the Choo Choo. That's cute. Oh, look at these. It's like at Epcot. Aww. This is so cute. Oh, look. It's all the sports teams. My mom, they got the Phillies. You see? That's cute. Here it comes, yeah. Oh, I think it's meant to be like Longwood itself with the little Italian gardens, like the fountains. Pretty, this is cute. Up here they have a restaurant. They actually have a few different restaurants inside here. There's a sit down one i've never been to the sit down one but we've come to this one the quick serve kind of grab and go place a couple times and they have a really nice seating area out here and then this is one of their main greenhouses in here there's beautiful displays that they have there they're doing a bunch of construction up here down this way is one of their fountain gardens that they have where they do the really big fountain displays.
So our game plan, we're gonna come back to this conservatory in a little bit. While it's still the peak of the sunshine and it's warm out, we're gonna go explore the rest of the things and then make our way back up. We're going to see the eye of the water. It's up here. I, and nobody thinks they've seen it before. No. I've seen this. I mean, oh yeah, look. No, this is the eye of the water. The eye of water. The original 1930s design of the main down garden. Oh, it looks so nice. Mm -hmm. This is cute. This is cute. Aren't you glad you walked down this way? So pretty. Right now we're heading down the pathway. We're just kind of exploring. Like we found a couple different bridges here that I don't think I've ever been to this part before. That's the neat thing about coming back. You keep finding different places. But now we're heading to the bell tower. And this bell tower is so cute. It, to me, it feels like Tangled. <laughs> it reminds me of Rapunzel's tower. It is like a little Christmas tree. So peaceful. Oh yes, here it is. The Tangled Tower, as I call it. Let's go inside. You can actually go inside the bell tower. That's where my mom and aunt just went in. Oh, they're going downstairs. I don't know if I remembered this. There's a downstairs too. And there's where you'd be able to go all the way upstairs. Doesn't it feel like something out of a fairy tale? We'll go around this way. Yeah, this to me feels like a fairy tale. I love this. This is beautiful. And here's the bottom half of the bell tower. This is one of my favorite spots with these fountains here. They have like an upstairs observation deck that has more fountains. It's beautiful. This is beautiful out here. This is where all the photographers are. Yeah. This is the, the spot you wanna be. Yeah, there's a couple right now having engagement photos right in here with all these arches. This is so pretty. Under here. Oh my gosh, I never knew this was back here. Oh, this is beautiful. I seriously never knew this was here. So this was right out here. We're now showing the whole group. We had never gone in here before. But underneath of this pathway, you go in this little doorway. This was in here. Oh, look at that. Now this is the eye of water. This should be the eye of the water. 
water. Expecting this. Well, this could be part of their recycle thing. So maybe that's what this does. Where you could take a photo and tell somebody you went on an Italian vacation and they would probably believe you. Now we are going inside of the conservatory. To the conservatory. Thank you. In here is probably my favorite spot because you have, it's not very tropical, you have the palm trees can live in here. Yeah, beautiful. Taking the garden path. And they also have a children's garden over here. They have some cute little effects over here. This garden. Warmed around to grow. We listen to the whole bell. We did listen to those. Like popcorn. I love their <laughs> Irregular in curve mom. Yeah, they were the ones. If you watched the video from the last time I was here, we were out there and that's where they had those giant lily pads and everything. And I think I remember they had signs up that they were about to begin this project here. They're doing like a massive overhaul of all that. So we'll have to come back in a few years and see everything. I always love the bonsai plants. These are really cool out here. So this now reopened. Mom, what'd you get? You got a wine? I got the Huntress Red Blend. It's a very good blend. Me and Auntie here are getting, this is the spiked apple cider. Did mom just order one too? She did. Spiked apple cider and I added caramel to mine as well. They can do it with Captain Morgan or Bacardi. I'm excited, it smells so good. Well, we just finished our stroll through the gardens. Now we're looking in, they have a yeah. gift shop up front here. They actually have bulbs you can buy. You can take home your own flowers to start planting. Cool, look at this. They have, their $78 each. They're ornaments of some of the different sites here. Like the gazebo. That'd be special, especially if you got married inside there. 